last year. And, and give a lot of credit to Jake Diebler, but give a lot of credit also to these players. When Chris Holman was let go, this season could have went south, but they stayed the course, they stayed together, and they have been fabulous here over these last five games. Hawkeyes will control the basketball first, and Josh Dix will go to work against Bruce Thornton. You have to think, Kevin, tempo going to be so important in this game. Iowa blitzed Ohio State for 17 fast break points in the meeting back in February. Ohio State wants to take their time. Iowa going to want to get up and down. Freeman had that rebound in his hands, tipped out, and it'll end up with Jamison Battle. There's Bruce Thornton. 3.5 assists to turnover ratio. Leads the Big Ten this year for the third team all big ten selection he hasn't shot it as well from three but he's dynamite with his pull up he's been really good from two over the last four games he's going to be the catalyst of this ohio state offense and then the hafey inside gets the buckeyes on the board hafey scoring has kind of gone down since jake diebler took over but he's done it in different ways and what a defensive play there ronnie gale moving his feet and tony perkins just running him over well, the athleticism's always been there for Roddy Gale, and you saw him get down quickly and get set. Well, Perkins just lowering that shoulder, coming off a 1 of 10 game against Illinois on Sunday. He's going to be looking to establish himself early. Those percentages have dipped the last five games. He's really passed it at that 14 assist game at Northwestern, but they're going to need him to score as well. Still to work against Perkins. Battle. Oh boy, that one is a little too tall for Evan Mahaffey. We had the view on that thing, and that was a good four feet over the top of his head. Yeah, it was pretty clear it wasn't going to be received. You never had that doubt, did you? No, no. The beauty of television is I didn't even have to tell anybody. It was right there. You could see it. Perkins sizing up that Ohio State defense. Perkins trying to get it going. Probe at the baseline. The drop off to Owen Freeman, the co freshman of the year. We talked about how Perkins has really dropped it off for teammates. That's a great look. Driving that baseline. Owen Freeman making himself available. And Perkins on time and on target. Lob underneath. Felix Akara with the catch. Tried to control it. Offensive rebound by Hafey. That was a big story for the Buckeyes in that close game. We ended up getting it 79 77 back on February 2nd. The Buckeyes, 13 offensive rebounds for 11 second chance points. The Hawkeyes, not a great defensive rebounding team. That storyline will loom large here tonight. It was a unique game. Iowa only attempted 10 threes in that game. Dale swings it around to battle. Here's Akpara once more. Working against Ben Cricky. With the left hand, a little bit short, and Dix there for the rebound. You can make Akpar get back to that left, but that's a win for the Iowa defense. His strength is getting to his right hand. And Sanford, he'll get a ton of attention tonight, justifiably so. Perkins with 12 on the shot clock. Needs some help, there's Josh Dix. Into the paint, tough fadeaway, a little bit short. But Ronnie Gale locked in defensively early, took the charge, and then getting a great contest on Josh Dix. Here's Thornton. Likes the matchup against Cricky. He'll shoot over him, and he'll hit the three. That's a big shot for Thornton. Just three of his last 15 from the three-point line coming into tonight. A talented shooter hasn't had the shooting year from three that everybody expects, but there's no doubt he can get hot and make those types of shots. Well, we saw him get hot in this tournament last year, made the all tournament team a year ago. Freeman will try to answer from the perimeter, and that's a little bit short. Owen Freeman is not a three point shooter, 0 for 4. Inside. Walked away, Akpara tried to finish, could not, and Freeman with a rebound. Well done by Freeman, not fouling and making Akpara score over the top. Here's Perkins on the pull up, an air ball from eight feet. Perhaps some early nerves for these two teams as Gale runs it down and finishes it off. I love the way that Roddy Gale has started this game on both ends. Nobody stopping the basketball for Iowa. Roddy Gale getting 94 feet downhill. All guys one for five. Beautiful drop off though to Cricky. A little bit strong. A really good slip there. Cricky got a great look. 
From three again, Bruce Thornton rains it down. And a 10-2 start for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Buckeyes 5-1 and one since new on February 18th. And they've started hot. A 10-2 lead. Thornton 2-for-2 two two from three. And they've jumped all over the Hawkeyes early. Well, they look like a different team from what we saw in January into early February. The looseness they're playing with. And, and you, you think about the situation. The, the players had to feel the heaviness of Chris Holtman's situation. Right now, Iowa playing like they feel maybe the heaviness of their tournament situation. Big shot, though, there for Peyton Sanford, one that Iowa had to have. This is really an unprecedented situation. Chris Holtman was announced today as the new head coach at DePaul while his previous team is still playing. I don't know a time I've ever seen this before where a guy who was fired gets a new job while his previous job and interim coach are still coaching. Yeah, it is rare indeed, and exactly one month from when he was fired to when he's hired as the head coach of DePaul. Now, Chris Holtman's going to have a lot of work to do with DePaul. That's one of the worst major conference programs in all of college basketball right now. His former team is playing terrific. Right yeah, now. they are. The history is there at DePaul, but certainly some logistical issues that you just don't see at many campuses from where they play to where their campus is. going to be interesting to see. Yeah, they lost last night. A last second shot by Villanova's Justin Moore knocked them out of the Big East tournament. Laji Dembele off the bench and provides a spark for the Hawkeyes. They're within four. And Tony Perkins set the table early for some of his teammates. Dembele making himself available. Two on Perkins and Laji Dembele showing off that 15-foot range. There's battle. Off the shot fake. Look at the drive. Patrick McCaffrey on the floor defending. They want to get it inside to Zed Key. Working against Dembele. Nine to shoot. Key in the paint with the right hand. A physical play right there. Just one-on-one. -on -one. Bad gamble by Gale. And now Iowa's got numbers. Can they take advantage? Sanford running to the rim. Can't get the roll, but he'll go to the line for a pair. Well, Saturday, the 2024 Big Ten Hockey Tournament continues with the semifinals. First, the Buckeyes challenge top-seeded Michigan State. Then Michigan and Minnesota face off. Live coverage begins Saturday at 6.30 Eastern, only on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. It's one of those plays there for Roddy Gale where if you're going to make that gamble, you have to come away with it. You're putting your defense at a disadvantage, and... That's an area where Ohio State has just looked like a totally different club. Last six games, opponents averaging 65 points a game, just 39% from the field, 30% from three. Whereas you look at the 11 prior, those percentages not even close, 46 and 43. The Buckeyes really locking down over these last six. Well, before this change, they were allowing over 75 points a game. Yeah, big difference. Foul on Zed Key, his first a moment ago. Thornton looking to probe into the corner to Scotty Middleton. Launching early, and Middleton, who's now hit 11 of his last 17 from three, stretches the lead back to eight. Well, I was so concerned about that pick and roll that they're just going to leave Scotty Middleton. And you're right, Kevin, shooting it with a ton of confidence. His role has definitely expanded here under Jake Diebler. And you could see that confidence. He did not hesitate in the corner. McCaffrey with 10 on the shot clock. Now Dix looking, wants the screen from Dembele, four to shoot. Dix has to skip it, Sanford gets the shot up quickly, and he hits the three. Few have a quicker release in this year than Sanford. <laughs> no doubt about that. Now 10 of his last 22 from three. He has been just on a scoring binge here. Was doing it a lot from two to finish February, but that three-point jumper coming back to life. 20 points or more in three straight for Sanford, over 21 a game over the last eight. He working against Dembele, barreling him over, and that's a charge on Zed Key, and that's number two on Key. That's a big second foul. We've seen him be physical to get to his jump hook on a prior possession, but there may be a little overdoing it. Dembele taking that for the chest, and Zed Key a little bit overzealous. So that'll put the onus on Felix Akpara, who comes back in now to play that post position for Ohio State. McCaffrey matched up against the outstanding freshman Devin Royal, who's really seen his stock surge of late. Sanford is in some kind of rhythm at the end of this season. 
It's the simple screen for the screener action. Peyton Sanford's going to rip Patrick McCaffrey right to the block, and then they're pinning him in and having him look for his offense. Nine already for Sanford. He's one of the best shooters in college basketball, especially over the last month. Thornton needs some help. In some trouble. Thornton finds Gale to save it. And now Gale in the scramble against Dix. The tip won't go. Dembele able to secure it. Sanford, McCaffrey, run to the floor, and the coach's son knocks it at 15. But what a response from the Iowa Hawkeyes. Ohio State getting off to that great start, but Iowa coming right back, and they've tied this up. An 8 nothing run for the Hawkeyes over the last 90 seconds. Coming up on 12 to play first half. Royal working against Sanford. Turns in the paint, count the bucket, and the foul. The true freshman making an impact early to give Ohio State the two-point lead. For Ohio State has been turnovers. Three turnovers and seven points for Iowa off those three turnovers early. You start turning the basketball over against the Iowa Hawkeyes, and you are just giving them an open invitation to do exactly what they want. Ball security going to be incredibly important. You cannot turn it over. You want to beat this Iowa team. Royal 70% foul shooter misses that one to keep this a two-point game. And Sanford does a turnover for the Hawkeyes. Dale Bonner there to pick it up. Really an unforced error, just a dribble handoff, and it's poorly exchanged. Thornton looking back, it goes to Bonner. He'll try the three, and he'll hit. Just 29% on the year, but he's got a good stroke. But he's also playing with a ton more confidence. Has been much better the last two games. Made that big shot at Michigan State from three. Now three of his last six from the three-point line. Perkins on the drive. Oh. Bumped by Akpara and able to finish. Now you want to go up against a shot blocker as good as Felix Akpara. You get to his body. That's exactly what Tony Perkins did on that physical drive. Now Thornton will go to work. Bonner turns the corner on Perkins. Akpara in the post. Working against Dembele. Trying to make some space, and he gets enough for the hook. And that time for Akpara, he goes back to the left, but he was much closer to that charge yard. Got better position, and a physical take from Felix Akpara on top of Laji Dembele. McCaffrey looking. Here's Dembele trying from deep. That is short, and the rebound ripped down for Ohio State. Middleton, quick shot on the other end for three. That confidence is sky high for the freshman from Miami. Looking for the answer, and Dix provides. Off the main three, Ohio State has got to match up. Josh Dix has been playing terrific offensive basketball. Now three of his last four, he scored 20 points or more. Have to find him. Now nine of his last 17 from three. 63% from the floor in the last four games. He's a guy who's going to be an all Big Ten player no before this is over. He's honorable mention this year. Akpara, nice patience in the flush. Well, if you like offense, we have signed up for a good one here. Both these teams playing high-level offensive basketball. Uh, points everywhere. What do you recommend for those who are defensive fans, Robbie? <laughs> well, <laughs> change your mindset. <laughs> Perkins headed to the line after the foul on Akpara. July 13th, the BTN Big 10K returns to Soldier Field in Chicago for the fantastic 10K and 5K races and tailgate party featuring a performance by Robbie Hummel. Scan the QR code or register right now, BTN Big 10K. <laughs> what am I doing? I believe you're playing the xylophone. Oh, it should okay. be a lot of fun. Okay. My background in percussion middle school will help me with that. It really will. If it's said on TV, it actually has to happen. Well, now, so. Mary had a little laugh. Yeah. Some of those great hits. That, that will be terrific. Classics that everyone will love. Yes. Sanford will get a breather. His first trip to the bench. That will not likely be a long stay for Peyton Sanford. Perkins back on the line. It's both. We've got a five-point game. In comes Brock Harding, the freshman point guard, replacing Tony Perkins. It's been really enjoyable this season, Kevin, to watch Peyton Sanford's maturation from sixth man of the year last year to early in the season figuring out what it kind of means to be number one on that scouting report. And now you see him, and he is just thriving. Yeah, he has responded 
well to being that number one guy. Well, and if you saw Iowa back in December, they, they look like a totally different team now. These young guys really coming into their own. Two teams that are way different. Middleton is providing Boy. what a lift. Eight points already for Scotty Middleton. Always had a lot of ability, but now that confidence growing so much, making threes, making pull-ups. He has had a great start to this game. There's Cricky back out. It goes to Harding. Harding bumped by Gale. Looking, needs some help on a bounce to McCaffrey. In the paint. Short on the shot. Rebound tipped around and it's secured by Mahaffey. The drop off underneath Mahaffey and all kinds of trouble down there has to back it out battle Quiet on his return so far to Minnesota and tipped out of bounds through the hands of Gale by Iowa This offense looks so much different from a movement perspective I mean, I, I thought that at times in January and into February that there was so much stagnant stagnant offense and man think about the dribble drives the, the, the cutting right there It's really crazy to see Ohio State play today Compared to what they were a month ago Battle lost the handle a turnover. I was cashed in early on turnovers. Can they do it again? McCaffrey will put it on the deck Jamison battle hasn't attempted a shot yet and almost to the 12-minute mark here It's a rare thing for a guy averaging over 14 points a game Shot clock down to 10 for Harding working against battle and a foul called on battle. That'll be his first. But you were talking about this, Robbie, and you look at the difference. First 14 games in Big Ten play versus the last six. And you can't say it's all on the change they made with Jake Diebler. That's not fair to Chris Holtman, no. who's an outstanding basketball coach. But you mentioned the, the weight of that situation clearly was on these guys' shoulders. And then when that was resolved, they responded as the Iowa Hawkeyes turned it over. Their defense has been better. They've played a much freer brand of basketball on the offensive end and give that guy a lot of credit right there. Jake Diebler pushing the right buttons. No surprise. I mean, he's got Valpo roots, so I'm not, I'm not surprised. 116 games in four years at Valpo. The basketball mecca, they call it, I believe. I, I, I believe they do, yes. Robbie Hummel, of course. They from Valparaiso. Yes, <laughs> shocking news. He baseline spin against Freeman a little bobble and out of bounds it'll stay with the Buckeyes five to shoot a first half that's seen a frenetic pace here in the Twin Cities it was a beautiful day we've got a, even cutting with the camera the Samsung Galaxy S24 that is a phone mind you think about the phones we had like 15 years ago where it'd be grainy and if you take a John photo like, still has that yeah, phone. John, John still may have that thing it's incredible. It's like our cameras. People think I'm kidding. It's a flip phone. Inbound. Set key. And two for key on a beautiful baseline out of bounds play for Ohio State. 11 of their last 12 from the floor. They're up to 72% shooting. He did a great job of embracing the physicality there, but the pass from Dale Bonner was really, really Thread that needle. Oh, nice feed. The two high school teammates from Moline High School, Brock Harding and Owen Freeman connect. Harding just one turnover the last five games. He's going to be a good one for Iowa. Gale with the hard bounce to Mahaffey. He's got to back it out. Tipped over to Mahaffey. He's going to back up for the open three. Thought about that one a long time. This. It's probably one of those where there's a reason you're open. Two, two of 17 from three on the year. Oh, Harding with the three. It's a guy that's just made four of his last 15 field goals, but putting it up with confidence. And Brock Harding, we just talked about how he's going to be a good one. It's just a matter of time. He's an outstanding talent. Led Moline High School to their first ever state championship. Uh, Hafey. Working against Cricky. Good defense by Cricky and Freeman. Really good box out. He just pushed Mahaffey out towards that Big Ten logo. Not a great shot for Mahaffey there, fading away. Little rhythm developing for the Hawkeyes now. Almost a pluck by Bonner. In the scramble, the three is up and off. A good look for Price Sanford, the brother of Peyton. Just couldn't get it to drop. That was another shot that's created by a gamble that doesn't go the Buckeyes' way. Sanford shot it well in Big Ten play. 
Ohio State dodging a bullet. Here's Battle. First shot attempt rims out and frame of the rebound. What well, you said, the first shot attempt from Jamison Battle was going to come at the under six mark. I'd have been shocked. Good heart bounce to Cricky and the contact from Mahaffey will send Cricky to the line. First foul on Mahaffey. Well, you see Owen Freeman right here. He, he is matched up with Zed Key and just watch the work he does as he sheds him and then just posts him up right there. Bounce pass really well done by Bonner. Zed Key getting it done on that under out of bounds. There's Cricky at the line. And another Valparaiso connection, which is the only thing we've been asked to point out tonight in this game. The grad transfer heavy, from Valparaiso. Heavy Valpo here. It really is, yeah. It's in Robbie's contract that there are at least 27 Valpo mentions during the Big Ten men's basketball tournament. Well, he signed up for the right team for that. Yeah, he certainly did. Seventh leading scorer all time in Valpo basketball history misses his second free throw attempt. 6-0 run though and the Hawkeyes right back in this thing What a fun start Here's Gale Picked up by the smaller Brock Harding spinning the shot count it and the foul on Harding a chance for Gale to convert on a three-point play I love that Gale took his time he on the initial dribble drive saw the help coming over But he understands that he's got the size mismatch on Brock Harding Harding tapping him on that shooting arm but just great patience and great awareness by Roddy Gale. One of his best games of the year was one of Ohio State's biggest wins, that Alabama win that we showed you in the season recap. He had 23 against the Crimson Tide, who are a certain pick for the NCAA tournament. Could be a Sweet 16 or beyond team. He's got a lot of ability. And for Roddy Gale, you have to think it's decision-making, which on that last play, that, that, that was really well done. And it's also motor. You know, how, how can he get his motor going 100% of the time? And Ballet will start it around the Perkins here. And a whistle and a foul underneath. Jamison battle in a battle with Ben Cricky. And Roddy Gale, when you look at players in the conference who've had their largest jump scoring wise from last year We'll see Malik Renu and Khalil Ware coming up Roddy Gale third in that list He has really taken a leap from a scoring standpoint from his freshman year Had that, that big Big Ten tournament in Chicago last, last March You have to think for him The next step is going to be how can you kind of hone that three-point jumper and get that to be a consistent play for you as well on end of the one and one no good for Cricky after the seventh foul Ohio State Going down the bench a little bit Taysom Chapman on the floor for the first time That's kind of been the deal under Jake Deeper though He's given these young guys much more of an opportunity and they have taken advantage of that Thornton stops and spins rebound tipped out to Chapman in the scramble for three is off Rebound swatted out by Akpara, but it's the Harding Harding working Whips that pass over to Perkins. My goodness. Oh, man. A dime from one end of the floor to the other, and Perkins with the three. And Brock Harding is speed dribbling at the rim, but still had the awareness to know exactly where Tony Perkins was running to. That is some peripheral vision. Incredible pass. Chapman looking. Needs a little help. Sanford all over him. That count is on. He's got to get rid of it, and he does to Thornton. Shot clock at five. Chapman on the baseline is fouled. It'll be the fourth team foul against Iowa. And Peyton Sanford with his second. Well, take a look at Tony Freeman here. He is at the top of your screen, and he is just going to flow into transition as Brock Harding is running this out. Freeman's calling for it. Harding finds him. That is a perfect pass in transition. And that is vintage Iowa Hawkeyes basketball. Tony Perkins with that three. He's got seven on the first half. And there's a three off the bench for Chapman. A little surprised to see it coming from three. 84% of his shots are coming from beyond the arc. Tricky inside with the catch. Turns and faces Akpara. And got the roll over the shot blocker Felix Akpara. That is a difficult shot with Akpara looming there. Tricky had to get a little bit more air underneath. That's an elite shot block. No doubt. Top 20 in the country in total blocks. Only Cliff Amore better. There's no shame in being second to him. No, not at all. Tried to get it top parts. Tipped back out. Ohio State still 10 to shoot. 
Gale working in the corner. His three will drop. Buckeyes are a robust seven of nine from three. They watched Wisconsin shoot. <laughs> That's a big shot for Gale. 24% from three in Big Ten play. Here's Dembele from three. 0 for 2 tonight from behind the arc. Buckeyes back up by seven again and an offensive foul. On the screen, that'll be Devin Royal who picks up his first and a timeout on the floor. What a pace. What a fun game. Buckeyes by seven. Jeffrey there. Peyton Sanford becoming one of the better and more complete offensive players in this league. But on the bench right now with two fouls. We'll see how Iowa can handle that over the final three minutes of this first half. The bench for Ohio State has been the difference. 20 points off the bench for the Buckeyes in this first half. The defense again there by Ronnie Gale. You know Josh Dix wants to get to that mid-range and Gale just gave him no airspace. Here's Cricky in the paint. Wriggles to the rim and able to put it in for two. Impressive cut right there by Ben Cricky of making himself to the basketball. But Owen Freeman Ducking on Felix Akpara takes him out of that play from a block shot blocking perspective. Fulton will back it out, sizing up Perkins. Mason Chapman, the crossover, the step back to three, rims out, and the and Iowa. Coming up, stick around for the State Farm Halftime Report. Dave, Raphael, Bruce, and LaFonso recapping all of the action from the day so far. And as I say that, I look to our left, and all four of them sprint up to the set, ready to go in case called upon early. Just throw it to him in the bullpen there. Yep. And here's Dave Bretz. <laughs> Ball tipped away, and I think he out of bounds. Out of yep. it. It just slipped out of Scotty Middleton's hands. Throwing it to Devin Royal. He cut, and there was nobody home. So the turnover by the Buckeyes, they're sixth. Buckeyes with nine points off the previous five. Owen Freeman's been quiet here. No freshman of the year in the league. There's four points on only three field goal attempts. Are they going to work again? Akpara says, I don't think you're the guy to take it up here. Cricky will try the baseline jumper. No, there's Freeman with the offensive rebound. He'll work against Akpara, the left hand a little strong. He'll take that. Freeman get to that left jump hook. A real physical take that knocked Felix Akpara back. Buckeyes by five under two to play in this first half. Gale, the lob to Akpara. Cricky pushing him out and a foul called on Ben Cricky and that's his second. So two on Cricky, two on Sanford. And Cricky can't believe it. Ronnie Gale makes this play. Take a look. He's got the matchup he wants right here with Owen Freeman. You give it up, and now you're getting it back. And look at the way he's got a running start before that ball's even in his hands. Now you throw it up. You get Iowa in rotation, and Cricky a little bit over physical there. He's up drawing a foul. Has to hurry and get it in. That's a five second count. And the Hawkeyes defend well on that baseline out of bounds and a turnover. There is no worse feeling as the inbounder than that internal <laughs> clock getting close to five. You're like, no one is open. <laughs> no one to throw it to. And then you just want to hide on the other end of the floor, but you can't. Nowhere to go. Sticks dropping it off to Freeman in the paint. Oh, oh, it's it's Milton. 13 to shoot. Harding. And that's going to be a little he bobble. Caught, he caught it on his, on his hip there. Yep. And the travel gives it back to Ohio State. One twenty-two to play in this first half. A game that has so much significance for each of these teams. If you're going to make the big dance, it's absolutely imperative for these teams. They win this game. Foul going on Freeman. It'll be his first. Here's the resume. Mike DeCourcy has them out right now. That loss to Indiana looms large on that resume. And for Ohio State, Robbie, you got to think they need to at least get to the semifinals yeah. to be into the conversation. Well, the resume is the, the quad one and two wins. I mean, Purdue, Alabama, Michigan State, Nebraska, th th those are great wins. The, 
the Indiana loss is, is hard to swallow because they lead by 17 right. in that second half, and they just did not close the game out. But they are playing so well. Two missed free throws, but 5% foul shooter at Gale. One minute to go in this first half. Harding wraparound pass to Freeman. Puts it down on the deck. Dribbles up to the rim. Count the bucket and the foul. Moline High School taking over in Minneapolis. <laughs> A little cross screen here to just bring Freeman across the lane. And he bowls that in there with some English. Nice little shot fake there by Owen Freeman. You get Akpara off his feet. Gets the other side of that rim. Big time play by Freeman and well done on the delivery. I'm I'm guessing that that's happened a few times in, I in the last say four. so. Yeah, there's been a little bit of that uh, chemistry developed at Moline High School. Freeman now will leave for Dembele. And Ohio State with a little bit of foul trouble in the post now, Rob. You've got two fouls on Key, two fouls on Akpara, and two on Battle. And Fran McCaffrey protecting Owen Freeman, who's got one, getting him out. Let's see if Iowa can get a stop here going into the half. Middleton thought about it. Almost launched. Now he will. From the corner. Another three for Scotty Middleton. He's got 11 points. Well, it's off the bounce. Bruce Thornton drawing that second defender in Dembele. And it's an easy drive and spray. Scotty Middleton with a big time performance here in the first half. He's got 11 points, hasn't missed a shot. Things they've shot the basketball better defensively, that they've guarded much better. It's going to be important for them to, to, to see that ball go through the basket, capitalize on free throws. And the matchup to watch, I think, is Malik Renu and Zach Hicks. That's a tough guard for both of those guys. Who can flip the matchup? Is it the perimeter shooting or is it the interior power game for Renu? Looking hold for the final shot, down five. Under ten seconds to go in this first half. Harding probing, swatted by Gale. Throws it into the air. Perkins trying to save it. And now a half-court heave. No good for Josh Dix. Halftime arrives, and that frenetic scramble at the end kind of underlines what was a frenetic first half. Sign us up for more in the second half. And, and no surprise, both teams playing at a high level because so much is on the line for both Ohio State and Iowa. Yeah, you've got to win this to have any thought of an NCAA tournament down the road as we check in with Andy Katz. Well, I just walked onto the court with Jake Diegler, and he said in the halftime locker room, he stressed defense, especially more communication on defense when they're in the half court and then they've got to contest whether it's transition or certainly on the threes if they're going to win this basketball game 17 different players scored in the first half of this game now foul trouble cropped up for these two teams battle back out there with two we'll see if they can stay out of foul trouble going against Peyton Sanford who also has two and battles jumper will not go battle still scoreless and only two field goal attempts here's Perkins end to end throws it at the rim Freeman's try won't go Cricky challenge the shot blocked by Akpara and the ball picked up by Mahaffey no surprise to see Ohio State go to battle but I don't love the shot a tough contested one I'm gonna find him an easy basket get him a good look and Battle has really struggled after he played well at the University of Minnesota when, when the Buckeyes came up here. From Robbinsdale, Minnesota, the league's leader in three-point percentage, and he hasn't even attempted a three tonight. Both of his shots have been from inside the arc. On the attack, in the paint, blocked off. Gale has to get rid of it. Ten to shoot. Great spacing there. Mahaffey kind of in that driving lane of Gale. There's the three and the first points for Jamison Battle. That's a different type of look. It's a, a dish for a three compared to that ISO play he took on the pull-up. And that's a good sign for Ohio State. The Buckeyes, nine threes now. Nine of 12. Dix will look to answer. A little short. Long rebound. That's tipped out by the Buckeyes. It's going to be Iowa ball. Hawks down by eight. And McCaffrey's team on the next four outline from our Mike DeCourcy in the most recent bracket projection. A weave for Perkins now around the Freeman screen. 
Sanford. He'll launch quickly and he'll hit. Man, that's pretty good defense by Bruce Thornton, but with the size that Sanford possesses and that quick release you talked about, Kevin, he doesn't need much space to get that thing off. That hoop has to look more like yes. a Kula hoop for Sanford right now. throw up a hook shot from there and it'd probably go in. Akara, no, on the hook. Sanford off the rebound ahead to Perkins. Freeman, look at the red all around oh, Freeman. What a pass. And Sanford, the open man. That's his best That's look of the night. Shot he he's it. had all night long. Great pass from Owen Freeman. He felt that triple team and knew he had somebody open. Mahaffey. A little strong, got his own battle. Perkins trying to pick it away. It ends up with Thornton, and his three snaps the twine. Nine for Bruce Thornton. This is the team that shot in Big Ten play. 32% from three, good for 12th in the league. They are just unconscious right now. 49-41. Cricky, the fadeaway is good. What a solid night so far for Ben Cricky. Well, that's pretty good defense there by Evan Mahaffey. He forced him into that turnaround fadeaway. They're going to feel good about giving up that shot. We're just going to assume the rest of the way the defense is going to be a little bit optional. Yeah. First to 100 wins. Thornton trying to get him too closer, a little strong. Rebound Looks ends up there. with Perkins. Looks like it was going to be Akpara, but Freeman never gave up on him. Oh, Sanford tiptoeing behind the line, and he gets the bounce. How do you get that bounce outside of Iowa City? <laughs> Even when he's off, it's in. That foot was pretty close to the line, but another good push by Tony Perkins, finding his shooter. Frustration, Thornton needs some help. Battle, contested and foul. Let's go look at that three, called on the floor a three. Was it a three? Well, Tony Perkins now with six assists, and that, that looks like there's some space between both that left and right foot. I think that call will stand. And there can't be three players in America in a better rhythm over the last month than Peyton Sam. No. I'm starting to see his name mentioned on some NBA draft boards, and you can see why. He has just gotten so much better. Good cutter, good from inside the arc. He obviously can shoot it from three. We, we've always known that. But I'm amazed at his pull up jumper is big time as well. I mean, 60% on shots off the bounce this year. Well, there is still room in the game for a guy to stay in one place and develop over the course of three years. And you've seen the steady climb of Peyton Sanford. He's an Iowa native, but freshman, sophomore, and now junior year, he's really had that steady development. He's paid his dues and he's waited his turn, and now it's his time to shine. Perkins inside and battle the rebound. Thornton wants to push. Up by five. Battle with Perkins all over it. Backs up for the three. Barely grazes the iron. Sanford will start it up. Back to Sanford. Feeds Cricky. There's two more, and it's a three-point game. But look at the way Ohio State is reacting to Sanford's look from three. Now they're running at you. He's playing off the bounce. That's a big-time pass to Cricky in transition. Back it goes to Zed Key. Key banging his way into Cricket. Right hander bounces out, and a foul is going to be called on the floor. Josh Dix tangled up with Devin Royal. Timeout after the foul on Dix. Peyton Sanford with 15 points, five of seven from the floor. Fuller's squad with a five and one record in the first six conference games. The first Big Ten head coach to do that. Since 27 28, 2017 2018, when Chris Holtman did that. Very full circle. Chris Holtman hired today as the head coach at DePaul. Spinning baseline, and Devin Royal with the nice jumper. He's got four. Loves that spin, and he is just so comfortable around that block. 
McCaffrey got a good look, just could not find the bottom of the bucket. Gale will start it up. Somebody's got to stop the ball here. Finally, Iowa getting it stopped, and Ohio State resets. But now, I've got a reset around the screen from Key. The three is short, and Sanford says, look what I found. What are these misses? <laughs> Bob ahead to, to this. this. I know. Good pass. Dembele, another miss. Offensive rebound, Sanford misses again. That's three straight. He's yeah. missed from behind the arc. What an opportunity there for Iowa. Miss a layup, miss a wide open shot. And Iowa State, that's a bullet on that possession. With the left hand. That was nice. Hesitation and go, and then using that off left. And Treat Dembele could seal to get around Royal for the easy two. He, he did his work early and he held Devin Royal off. Royal going for the Hail Mary steal and there's just nobody home if you don't get it. Five point game. Hawkeyes just hanging around hoping Ohio State cools off more. Royal on the baseline. No, and a chance for two at the line for Devin Royal. Laji Dembele, he's got a favorable matchup with the size here with Devin Royal. Peyton Sanford recognizing it, he throws it right in there. There's Royal through the passing lanes, and that's well done by a guy who had missed a layup the possession prior, but didn't let that get him down and made up for it there. Dembele with the foul on this end, sending Devin Royal to the line. on the first Pickerington Central High School product. He was Mr. Basketball last year in the state of Ohio, but things didn't go his way to start this season. But since Jake Diebler has taken over, he's seen his playing time double over the last six games, getting almost 16 minutes a game now. Can you imagine the poor kids in Ohio that had to guard him that are guards? Oh, <laughs> no six, chance. He's 6'6", six, six, 210, and just posting these guys up. Man, he, he, he must have been a nightmare to guard at the high school level. He, he's tough here. So based on his high school numbers, 20 points a game, 8 rebounds a game. They didn't guard him well. Yeah. Perkins dropping it to Dembele and a turnover for Iowa. Hawkeyes having a little more trouble getting that rhythm offensively over the last couple of minutes. They've had some good shots, and they've had that shot at the rim and haven't capitalized. Now it's been almost shocking to see anyone miss in this game. Extend that defense a little bit. Bonner, the trailer three. Oh, and halfway down, it pops up, but there's Royal with a good box out to get the rebound. He'll spin baseline against Dembele, and the second foul on Dembele. Well, these two teams know what's at stake tonight with a win Ohio State gets that quad one opportunity tomorrow against Illinois Now, Mike DeCourcy has him out right now the net's solid the resume is solid You stack a couple of more wins on this thing and you're gonna have to really have the conversation is Ohio State a tournament team yeah, Give all the credit to the coaching staff the players the fact that they've won four straight and beat the people that they have, it's been so impressive. Baseline, what an outstanding baseline out of bounds. Largest lead of the ball game for Ohio State. It's nine. Get Akpara a little bit up there to take away that Dix pull-up. Freeman blocked by Akpara. Working for the loose ball and a foul on Freeman. That's his third. Let's check in with Andy Katz. And as much as we've been talking about the loser of this game probably not having a chance, we have to always remember it's not in a vacuum. You have to look around the country, and some of these results have helped whoever wins this game, such as Wake Forest losing. We'll see what happens tonight between B.C. and Virginia. If New Mexico loses to Boise State, all those kinds of things. If Villanova were to lose again tonight, all those kinds of things could help an Ohio State-Iowa winner. Now, Iowa needs to find... Some offense. They get the stop defensively with the block on Patrick McCaffrey. And now Hawkeye fans cheering the foul on Akpara. That's his third and the first foul against the Buckeyes in the second half. That was almost another missed opportunity for Iowa. That, that ball almost thrown away to Josh Dix. Bruce Thornton went down. Iowa had numbers. Ricky back on the floor for the Hawkeyes. 
Harding out there to inbound. McCaffrey on the cut to the right block. Muscled that one up through Middleton and in. That was a really good pass because the, the, the pass are waited until Patrick McCaffrey had well cleared that out. Brock Harding, great patience there. That bounce pass, really well done. Inside against McCaffrey, the foul on Patrick McCaffrey. And Jamison Battle heads to the line. He's hit 50 of his last 51 free throws entering play tonight. He's hit two tonight, so 52 of 53 for Jamison Battle at the line. Big Ten Plus delivers thousands of non-televised live events, access to next day on-demand replays. Multi-view lets you watch four games at once and a 24-7 channel for your favorite school. No plus like home. Subscribe and stream. $9.95 a month at BigTenPlus.com. It's been fascinating, Kevin, to see the free throw streaks. Battle had one for a while. Gale had one for a while. Right now, Perth Thornton is 30 of his last 30 from the line. And Peyton Sanford's the best free throw shooter in the league. Harding. Pull up is fouled, and Harding is going to work his way to the line. I love it when players spin downhill. When you're spinning north and south, opposed to east and west, you're putting a lot of pressure on that primary defender. First foul on Bonner, and Harding with the first free throw. He's not had a ton of chances this year. 16 of 21 now at the line for the freshman. Perkins back in for Josh Dix. A quiet night for Dix, who came in averaging nearly 20 points per game over the last four. Harding with two at the line to bring the Hawkeyes back within seven. Inbound, Patrick McCaffrey, then a foul. It's like that, that press surprised Ohio State, even though it's off of a free throw. They, they are incredibly fortunate that wasn't a turnover, and instead it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, Ohio State shooting the rest of the way after this foul. Could have easily been an opportunity for the Hawkeyes. If you're Ohio State, you know that that's in the back pocket of Fran McCaffrey, and any free throw that's going up, you've got to be aware that that press could be on. You don't want to get into a free throw shooting contest with these Buckeyes. Oh, that number, 77%, the second best in school history. Both of these teams are tremendous at the line. Iowa's the best in the Big Ten. Yeah, Iowa 23rd national, excuse me, Ohio State 23rd nationally in free throw percentage. What a response by Battle. And a tough first half, got in foul trouble, and he's looked for his offense. Jake Diebler has run stuff to get him going. And, Clearly now he's in double figures. It's done the job. 11 points all in the second half for battle, and that's a kick ball. Yeah. yeah. The whistle, Bill Eck blowing the whistle to kick ball, and that'll take us to the under 12 media timeout. Well, the winner of this game is not exactly going to party like it's gutters to the rim. That's Patrick McCaffrey or Jamison Battle both converting. It looks good on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. It doesn't look good to the two head coaches who are trying to defend oh. it. Peyton Sanford will inbound. Iowa looking for a little offense right here. Six of 16 from the floor in the second half. Ricky eyeing Zed Key. Here's Sanford. Got a creep. Drives it up. No. Cricky's tip. Won't go, but a chance at the line for two. Well, Zed Key was so concerned about Cricky rolling to the rim that he really never stopped Sanford on the dribble drive. Nice job by Cricky of staying with that play and that foul trouble in the front court for Ohio State looms large once again. Battle with his third. And Cricky at the line gets the roll. Just two for four tonight at the stripe for Ben Cricky, but he's into double figures now with ten. Two for two for Cricky. Seven-point game again, 63-56, that pressure applied by Iowa. Iowa going a little zone here. Perkins pokes it into the backcourt. 
They're going to match up. Under 10 to shoot. Bonner. Here's Key. I have to go to work. Gale. The lob to battle. Two seconds. One second. Did not hit rim, but Key able to follow it up and beat the clock. He had just pushed Sanford under the rim there. Boy, oh, I, I thought what Bonner. A play by Bonner. I thought he stepped on the line. Ball tipped around. Iowa ends up with it anyway. Perkins in the scramble, taken away by Middleton. Hot potato here in Minneapolis. Key pivots. The hook is there. And the Buckeyes with their largest lead in 11. What a sequence by Zed Key. He's seen his minutes dwindle, but the offensive glass and then running the floor after that man scramble. Hawkeyes have to find some offense here. Harding will drop it to Perkins. Trying to be patient against Key, and the foul on Zed Key is his third. Well, there's Key. Did he beat the shot clock by plenty? Yeah. But I did think live that, that Dale Bonner's foot was on the line when he saved that play, which led to an Ohio State basket. So the line goes Perkins, 79%. Watch the foot of Bonner. Did he stay in? Oh, he was. My eyes have deceived me. <laughs> I truly thought that I thought he had stepped on that line. Good job by Bill Eck. His and eyes week. are better than mine. We are in the house that Robbie Hubble fills, the target center in Minneapolis. I, I assumed you just knew every inch of this floor. Yes, I know. I know. Those, From those average three points days. a game for a team that, that normally just ingrains that feel for you. Yeah. We walked in and Walked right by the Hummel statue, which is right back near was the I, locker. Was I parked on the bench? Yeah, it, was, it was you sitting with a towel over your head. You looked yeah. just fine. Gale on the drive. No, and free to the rebound. It's a thought bubble. Why won't Rick Adelman play me? It was made of paper mache. And perhaps it was made by Andy Katz. Sanford working inside. Can't get the roll, but back to the line goes Sanford. One for two tonight. He came in 92% this year at the line as Gale picks up his first foul. What? 16 tonight for the junior. Two for two on that trip for Sanford, who's missed all of seven free throws this year after missing eight last year. Ohio State's been a little bit casual off this free throw press here. There's Thornton to bring it up. It's certainly slowing Ohio State into the front court. No doubt. And now, kind of stagnant. We're not seeing the movement we saw, especially early in the first half. I was in that zone, and you're right. It has totally taken away the free-flowing nature of the Ohio State offense. Thornton has to go to work against the freshman Harding. The three in his face won't go. Battle there! Count the bucket! One more at the line for the Minnesota native. If you get on the offensive glass like that, it's not going to matter what your half-court offense looks like. Just get a shot up. And Jamison Battle just carving out space on Patrick McCaffrey. What a response from him in this second half. He went to work in his hometown. Yeah, you know the bench is fired up. Ultra replay from the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Showing an ultra happy Buckeye bench. Ten-point game. It's been a perilous situation for Iowa for yeah, the last two to three here. here. Cricky. Hawkeyes without a field goal in over three minutes. They're keeping in this at the foul line. Dix into the paint. Tough jumper, and that one falls. Roddy Gale was right there step for step. Got back in the play, got a great contest. But that is the specialty of Josh Dix. He loves that mid-range. 
and Dale had to feel the breeze of the ball go by. He was that close to it. Dale on the curl. In the corner to battle. There's another three. Jamison battle. The Big Ten's three-point percentage leader on fire in the second half with 17. Ben Cricky and, and Peyton Sanford having an animated discussion with him right there. The ball's coming to you. You got to get back to your man in the zone. And, and Cricky just not, not the awareness needed. Jamison Battle getting that airspace and letting it go. Foul number two on Gale, sixth team foul on the Buckeyes. Iowa will inbound. Here's Sanford, mid-range jumper, won't go, and the rebound saved by Mahaffey. Ohio State, these last couple possessions, really contesting these mid-range shots for Iowa. Mahaffey. Thornton fouled by Harding on the floor. One and one coming up. Ninth team foul on the Hawkeyes, and a little frustration starting to show on the faces of these Iowa Hawkeyes. They're gonna have to start getting some stops. And for as easy as offense felt in that first half, it's not been the case for Iowa here in the second. 36% from the field, just two of six from three here in this second half. Fortin's first free throw attempts of the night. He's hit his last 30. And he misses as Sanford gets the rebound. Uh, I've talked about twice. And... Yeah, you brought it up earlier. I, I think the that's the first one. Yeah. Perkins fouled on the lob. It's not a shot. Foul on the floor means one and one coming up for Tony Perkins. Akpara with his fourth personal foul. Now that's the one wild card in all this is the foul trouble in the post. Ohio State's been playing with a little fire down there tonight. Knock par now with four. Battle with three, key with three. And Perkins will get one more. Don't forget, we're not done after this game. We've still got one more game in the second round coming up next. It's Penn State and Indiana. You'll see it on the Big Ten Network and, of course, the Fox Sports app. In balls out on Perkins. One for two, and it's a 10 point game. Ohio State hoping to keep the pressure on. Up by 10. Thornton. Shot clock at 10. Here's Battle. 17 in the second half. This is that runner, and Sanford the rebound. Good rebound by Sanford there. Had to fight off Zed Key. Well, Perkins almost got caught in the air there. Harding in amongst the trees. Freeman there to tip it in. I love the way that Brock Harding just put the brakes on there. Allowed him to get it up on the rim. You've got a contest coming over. And that frees up Owen Freeman on the offensive boards. Seven and a half to go in the Twin Cities in an eight-point game. Slips, but got it to Key. Key blocked. And the Hawkeyes get the stop. Looked like Bruce Brown was on ice right there. There's Perkins. Iowa would like to see him get going. Ten points. Dix will try for three. Got a great look. Can't get it to go. Rebound th in, the, in there for Bruce Thornton and a foul. Free throws coming. After the timeout, and the Hawkeyes in some trouble. Ohio State feeling very good. Ben half points, including those three from Jamison Battle. And that's really been the difference in this second half. Battle's gotten hot. The rest of these two teams have kind of cooled off, but Battle's kind of kept this Ohio State Buckeye squad at arm's length from Iowa. Thornton at the line, good on the first. I had to figure that water would find its level from a shooting perspective eventually. The first half was played at such a torrid pace. The battle, kind of his emergence, it just shows how different this Buckeye team is at this part of the season where if you told us back in January that, hey, battle's got zero at halftime, you're thinking, man, their offense is in a world of hurt. But these freshmen, Devin Royal, Scotty Middleton, they've stepped up and 
Ohio State offense much diversified here in March, well, especially after Iowa shot 54% of the first half. Thornton, or rather, Sanford trying to get a go. Thornton there for the rebound. Sanford has struggled a little bit more in this second half after his hot start. Missed some open looks, but that, that was a tough one there. Scotty Middleton, pretty good defense. That could have been a contested make. Nervous time for Iowa. Thornton at the foul line. Got the roll. 12 point advantage for Ohio State, their largest lead. A good screen there. I believe it was Mahaffey and Owen Freeman just a tad late to get to that Bruce Thornton pull up. Harding, good entry to Owen Freeman. Needs to get that one out of his hands and a foul call. Owen Freeman wheeling and dealing. Ooh, man. Mm. Royal right to the throat. I feel that in the morning. I'm guessing he feels it now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to speak for Devin Royal. Not to but... speculate, but that probably hurt. Let's not test it on the play-by-play -play guy over here. Yeah, let's, let's see what it feels like. <laughs> Every little guard that had to deal with Devin Royal in high school is doing the Leonardo DiCaprio thing on the couch going, yeah! The best time. I know that feeling. <laughs> Point at the TV. 11-point advantage for Ohio State with the ball. I'm telling you, if you watched this Buckeye team in January, you would not recognize them in March. No. That old wrap around and Royal just had it. Tear him off his fingertips. It's the right idea. The execution's just not there. They, they've run a lot of Jamison battle pin downs here in the second half. He zips it in there. A little hot. Oh, probably should catch that, but that's a turnover that Jake Diebler can certainly live with. But can Iowa cash in on this end of the floor? And hold underneath on the lob. Perkins dropping it down to Owen Freeman. And Devin Royal with his third. The Buckeyes have gone really small with the foul trouble to the front court. They have got really two forwards. I guess Royal's probably a forward too. And Akpara's coming back in, but clearly Iowa's thought process was that this is the lineup on the floor. We are giving the ball to Owen Freeman. Yeah, force feed the big and see what happens. And with that in mind, Akpara back out there with those four fouls. Front end of the one and one will not go. Rebound tipped out of bounds by Perkins. And it's Ohio State ball. I think it's some of the missed opportunities for Iowa in this second half. You, know, you, you have that layup for Dembele. You have some open threes for, for Sanford. I want the free throw line not cashing in. And Sanford just two for seven from the floor in the second half. After such a hot start to this ball game. Good decision there by Gale. Didn't, didn't need to force feed that into Mahaffey. Run some clock and get a good shot here on this time down. He's keeping an eye on Jake Diebler the whole time. Now he'll go to work. Gale drives right side of the lane and dicks with the block. Long pass ahead to Perkins. Leaking out to the oh, And the two-hand flush. Trying to light a fire for the Hawkeyes. For the first time tonight, that Iowa defense creating a little bit of offense. Nice job, Josh Dick staying in the play. And then the eyes up the floor, Tony Perkins. You're going to go to score it. Mahaffey's coming for it. You better dunk it. That's exactly what he did. Spring in the step of Perkins. See if that adds some spring for the Hawkeyes. Battle. Pops free for three. And a rebound to Perkins. Eyes up as he brings it up the floor. Sanford off the fake. Dumped down Freeman. What a shot. Akpara swats it away. And a foul called on Perkins. I mean, Akpara was there to contest the Sanford layup. Sanford realizes it, dumps it off. And with the quick second jump, he gets right back in this play. Leaves his feet. Second jump right there. Big time effort by the Big Ten second best shot blocker. I'd compare him to a pogo stick, but nobody <laughs> under the age of 40 would have any that's, idea that's what that true. is. Put him on a trampoline. Man. Bouncy. It must be nice. Goodness. 38 straight games, he's blocked at least one shot. Dates back to last year. But you gotta love the effort there. You know, just the, the willingness to give that type of energy and effort to contest a shot and save points for your team. And again, contesting with four fouls. Aggressive play for a guy who could head to the bench for the rest of the game. He's there right now to get a breather. 
Mahaffey misses both free throws. Perkins cradles the rebound. Here's Sanford. Gonna get hot again. He cannot on that shot. Rebound tipped out, scooped up by Thornton. And a foul by Sanford. That's his fourth. Two free throws coming for Bruce Thornton. And Iowa in a world of foul trouble. Iowa's taken, what, three fouls in the backcourt here? And then that one stops a, a fast break. The other couple, Tony Perkins, Peyton Sanford, some frustration fouls. But off that long miss, it was going to be Bruce Thornton off to the races. One more for Thornton. So much on this game for these two teams. Iowa and Ohio State. This is the second 10-point game. Can okay, the Hawks scratch out some offense and an offensive foul on Perkins, his third. Timeout on the floor. The Iowa Hawkeyes know that if they don't win this, they're in. Well, I was just listening into the huddle, and Jake Diebler said to his team, continue to be aggressive. The assistants were screaming out, we got four minutes more. But he also reminded his team, we've got three timeouts. If you get in any trouble at any point, use them. Well, each team with three. Everybody in the double bonus. Possession arrow, Iowa. Four minutes to go in a game that each team has to have to have any legitimate hopes of advancing into the NCAA tournament. For Ohio State, a win would be their 20th win of the season. And remember, a month ago, they fired their coach. It's been a remarkable turnaround. Battle scooping it up through contact. Got his own back and muscled it home. Talk about embracing the physicality of the game. Jamison battle off the pin down right in the chest of McCaffrey and staying with it for the offensive board. He's got 19 all in the second half. Dix in traffic, gets close to the rim and floats it home. Somebody's got to get open for Royal, and there's no one getting or wanting the basketball there. That's what the Iowa's going to have to do. They're going to have to be aggressive with this trap, take some chances, and force the issue with their full-court pressure. And it's bothered Ohio State. It has. Something. Perkins, quick attack, feeds Cricky at the foul line. Hit that bucket. Iowa needed that. Eight that's, game. that's his specialty there. When you get him in the mid-range early in the season, it felt like he was shooting... About 90% on shots like that. Back it comes to Mahaffey. Oh, they sold out. And Royal finishes it off. McCaffrey. He'll go to the line for a pair with Iowa down 10. A little bit better awareness here. Nice flash by Mahaffey. And then you got Crickley coming up. There is no one home. Devin Royal. How about Royal tonight? Eight points, continuing his late season surge. The bench has been fabulous for the Buckeyes. If you would have told us that the depth of this team would have been a strength by the end of the year, back back in January, you'd say, and who's scoring outside of, of Thornton, Gale, and, and Battle? I mean, if you left the country in January and just shut off all contact with college basketball and you're just tuning back in tonight you're like who is this ohio state team hawkeyes won the only meeting this year 79 77 that was february 2nd in iowa city and that was still when ohio state was trying to figure out who they were they figured it out now gale right near the timeline gets rid of it towing the line bonner's three rebounded by dix great find by gale Perkins to push. Eight-point game is the, is the goal, but he can't get that one to drop. And Gale with the rebound. Well, those are dangerous passes. And then out of bounds, it'll belong to the Iowa Hawkeyes. Roddy Gale was asking for it to be reviewed, but Six the clock says 2.06. Yeah. You throw a pass with some airtime under it, and that thing is going to get picked off. 
Not a game. I may have had a point there. Yeah, I thought that was off the leg of Patrick McCaffrey. Dixes his three, will not go. Rebound caroms out to Akpara. Hawkeyes have struggled from three in the second half. Now just two for ten from three. Ohio State breaks the pressure and battle is fouled. Remember, they were five of nine in the first half. But the second half has not gone the way of the Hawkeyes from a shooting standpoint. Did he take an extra step before this foul? And pivot foot's doing the moonwalk a little bit. Pretty close. Allen Perkins, his fourth. And battle with one more at the line. Buckeyes with 83 points. Now 84 for Ohio State. They average 74 and a half on the year. Perkins with the spin and the challenge underneath by Apara. And that will be his fifth. Iowa down 12. One more to go. Penn State, Indiana. The Nittany Lions trying to knock off IU for a third time this year in a fifth straight overall. That's coming up next on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. Akpara fouls out with four points and five rebounds. The, the health of Trey Galloway is going to be a really important thing to look for. Questionable with that knee. That Penn State backcourt kind of had its way with the Hoosiers in those two wins. Well, how about Ace Baldwin? Not yes. only the defensive player of the year in the A-10 last year, defensive player this year in a league that had Zach Eady, who didn't exactly lose any of his defensive prowess. I mean, ball ball out just, his efforts and the way that he pursues the basketball is so high level. Those active hands, and you're not going to see anybody better. Perkins one for two. Hawks 11 of 17 this half at the line, Robbie. 16 of 25 on the night this is the best free throw shooting team in the conference right and it's been a couple of guys i mean you know you, you look at Ricky's missed two perkins has missed two freeman's missed two sanford's missed one you, you've got some really good foul shooters who haven't been as consistent as what we've seen all year long well, you're nine points given back at the foul line tonight in an 11 point game as mccaffrey picks up his fourth foul Again, if you get into a free throw shooting contest, normally that's a bad thing against Ohio State, but really neither team has shot to their level at the line tonight. Buckeyes better in the second half, 14 of 18. Sanford back in, Perkins back in. They're going to have to massage that a little bit, each with four fouls. Bonner. Buckeyes by 12. Dixel launch, contested three, dies on the back iron. The rebound out of bounds. Last touch by Thornton, and it'll belong to Iowa. Well, Dixel got a pretty good look with the screen rescreen. The Hawkeyes now 2 of 11 from 3 here in the second half. For as hot as they were in that first, they, they have. And put in the freezer here in the second. It's a rarity. It's a good three-point shooting team. Potent offense has been stymied in the second half. McCaffrey off the inbound. Rejected and out of bounds. Mahaffey with the swat. Well, Mahaffey closing out, staying in the play, and using his length with that right hand to send it out of bounds. A nice effort. Sanford. Short all over him. Cricky fades away a little short, and we've got a whistle and a foul. Sanford goes down battling for the rebound, and Scotty Middleton picks up his first personal. And the 
McCaffrey frustrated over on that Iowa sideline engaged in a heated conversation with Bill Eck one of our three officials I'll let you speculate as to what the conversation's about. I think Bill X thinking we called the foul. <laughs> <laughs> we call your guys at the line. But I guess it's, but it's an not, accumulation it's, yeah, of things. It's not yeah. about that, just one. So Price Sanford in for his brother. Perkins will leave. Again, Harding comes in. Each of those two that just hit the bench with four fouls will be back in the next opportunity on offense. This Long gutsy. inbound. Wow. Battle with the catch. Battle with the finish. 23 now for Jamison Battle after being shut out in the first half. A guy in a half this season. You knew it was a matter of time before he got going. A shutout in the first half is rare for a score as prolific as Jamison Battle. I don't know that we expected 23 in the second. Well, especially for a guy that is definitely playing at home and playing in front of a ton of friends and family. Rebound is hit out by Sanford. Scramble. Oh, my goodness, bodies everywhere. Bonner, the recipient of the pass on the other end from Thornton for the easy two. And the Buckeyes about to punch their ticket for a date to face the fighting Illini. How about the eyes up by Bruce Thornton? Opportunistic. Here's McCaffrey shifting to the left, and that three will fall. Bonner with 35 seconds to go in this one. Buckeyes never trailed in this game, Robbie. It was tied twice, 2-2 two, two, and 15-15. But Ohio State has never trailed in a game that each of these teams knew they needed to have to have any hope at continuing in the NCAA tournament. That game tomorrow. Illinois, Ohio State is going to be a war. That's going to be must see TV. And as luck would have it, it'll be right here on the Big Ten Network. But the way Ohio State is playing right now, they will give Illinois all they wanted and more. They played them on January 30th, lost 87 75. That game in Columbus, but that was a different Ohio State team. Sanford through contact battle with the rebound Ohio State can dribble it out the shot clock is off But the Ohio State Buckeyes are on 90 to 78 over the Iowa Hawkeyes Jake Diebler about to go six and one since being named interim head coach of Ohio State and is making his case for this Buckeye team to be around in the postseason beyond the Big Ten tournament. This has been an incredible turnaround. And how about the Ohio State defense?